everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. It's a really steamy day. It's very steamy. I'm actually very warm. Jim is very, very, very warm. Well, I went and got the grandkids today because I was going to have them help me catch the roosters. Uh, no luck with the roosters. I'm going to have to do it in the dark. I was hoping that I could get Andy. He's the hardest one. The other ones I can pretty much pick up because they, they go right around my feet. But Andy is the one that's going to be a challenge. So I'll have to get him in the dark and I'll get the other ones in the dark. And then tomorrow I plan to take them to the farm so that they can live their life out and be free. I don't, I don't want to have them butchered. Cold. Or cold, yeah. Shouldn't use that word probably. I don't know if it, I don't know if YouTube likes it or not, but it's called, and I don't want them going to anybody's freezer camp, so they're gonna live out their life there, and hopefully they enjoy the bugs that they're gonna find. There's gonna be tons of bugs, and um, I'm gonna put a little clip in here of the rug that I made. Well, my um, rug is done. I had to put blue jean only on the bottom because I ran out of pants of different kind. So the blue jean on the bottom is a little bit wider than the blue jean on top, but it's done. I'm just going to take it off the loom, but I'll wait till Jim comes home because those wood, be, wood dowel don't slide very easy. And I may need his strength. So if you have old blue jeans or old shirts or old something that you don't want, old curtains, anything, you can make a rug out of it and it becomes a useful item again. Jake has found the carpet. The carpet is finished and he's liking it. It's looking really good. He's going to make himself very comfortable. Good boy, Jake. That's very good. As you can see, it turned out real good. Who would believe these are just old pants? I also had questions about the frame, so I'm going to put that little clip in right here. This is the frame that Brian has asked to see, so I'm going to have Jim explain what it's made out of and how big everything is. Well, it's all made out of oak because we had a lot of it. It is three inches wide, or three, yeah, three inches wide by 58 inches. 58 inches tall, 31 and a half wide. The dowel. They're half inch dowels, half inch holes, and they are approximately two and a half inches apart. He put a lot of holes in it, but really I don't need all those holes. If you're gonna make adjustments, I suppose you would, but I only, I leave it right where it is. And these, these um, bars don't belong there. They were only put there because storage storage for the moment. What these, these bars actually go what this these, direction. And we put, it's supposed to have the hook and eye, or hook, whatever. It's supposed to have an eye. An eye. And I put, because I don't have an eye, I put these little open things. Hooks. Oops, the hooks. And these go in there. And what it is, is I, oops, I got on the wrong side, sorry. Yeah. And what I do is I put a clothespin here to hold them in place. But if you have an eye, you wouldn't have to do that. You only have a clothespin. Uh, there you go. I just put a clothespin here just to keep the, keep it from, moving and I do the same thing on this side so that when you're winding around there's a lot of traffic so when you're winding around these stay put because you have these have to these are what keeps the sides from scoot caving in and you can make these with nails there are others that have a bunch of nails half inch apart down on this other section but would be on this side not on the back side mm. yeah it's it's a nice frame there is a video out there that you could look up where they show you how to make it or they talk about it I don't know if they show you how to make it or not but they talk about it and um, they show you 
and you can buy them if you want to already made but it's a lot cheaper if you can make it yourself our area is now in phase four which means um, that theaters are open but we don't have any theaters in our area gatherings up to 50 people yeah it's it's um, I think the beaches are not open. There's no camping, and the only camping that is in the campground are people that made their appointment or their registration, I think, last year, and they're, they're seasonal people that would come and camp anyways. But um, otherwise, there's no camping, so I don't know what the 4th of July will look like. But today is Canada Day for the Canadians. Happy Canada Day. I just remembered mm -hmm. that. If I knew Oh Canada song, I would sing a little bit of it, but I don't know it. And my daughter, she actually did a, a thing. I don't know that either, but she did a um, when she was in when she was Teen Queen for New York. She did a little song that had the fifty states, and then she said, "For my friends up north, this part's for you." And she named all the providences. And it was really very, very good. She made that part up herself, but it turned out really good. And that's it for today. I hope you all had a, this is really short, I know. But I hope you all had a great day, and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye. So,